Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Siren. We're continuing with a second objective this time, since we did a mission with Shiro in the Miata Clinic last time. And in that mission, we unlocked a bathroom door in the clinic. And it said that because we did that, we would now be able to do a second objective with Tamin. So that's what we're doing here today. We're going to go back to the Miata Clinic, to that mission where Tamin had to find Yoriko's glasses. And this was kind of a tough one, but the second objective is actually going to be a lot easier and a lot quicker. The description of this mission is that while searching for Yoriko, Tamin comes across the old hospital that was supposed to have disappeared 27 years ago. And as he mentions, the village itself had disappeared 27 years ago, at least the parts of it that we're seeing. And that includes this hospital. First there was the village that shouldn't exist. And now the hospital. And that kind of reflects the conversation we heard with Kay and Shiro. Talking about how this place had vanished 27 years ago. How could it be around now? Mission objective one was to pick up Yoriko's trail by finding her glasses. Objective two is find album. Which... That seems kind of uneventful. We have to find a photo album, but we'll do it because that's what we need to do. So last time we had to find, where is she? She's somewhere here. Yeah, Mina, who has Yoriko's glasses. This time, however, we're not even bothering with that. What we're doing this time is we have to find this photo album. Now, where do we need to find that? Let's just close ourselves off here and think about what we might need to do. Well, we remember that Shiro had unlocked that bathroom and it said that because he did that, we would now... Well, we can't go through here. Tamman is just too big. He can't, he can't fit through it. Because he unlocked that bathroom, that Tamman would be able to complete a second objective. So, we should go find that bathroom. And see what maybe we can do with it now. A lot of the things that we had to do the first time round, we don't have to do this time. Like that whole thing... ...here with the cells where we had to get oh, we had to break that chain, get that key. Don't need to do that now. Conserving my ammo for when we fought Mina. Don't have to do that cuz I don't have to find the glasses this time. This is the door. This is the one that Shiro unlocked. And when we looked in here, we saw that the only thing different about this bathroom was that there's a faucet where the water is still running. All right, so what can we do with that? How could that be used for anything? Well, let's go to the hints. And let's take a look at where we are right now, which is... It's not that one. It's this one. Day 2, 1837. It says, it says to pay attention to the water pipe and the window. Water runs from top to bottom. So it's not only the pipe we need to pay attention to, but it's this window, which is open just a crack. So it says that water can run from top to bottom. So do we have to get water out of this faucet and out this window? How would we do that, do you think? Well, fortunately, Tamin just happened to find a 16-foot length of rubber hose in the mountains when he was chasing after Akira. Remember that? He found that hose. Because he found the hose, I mean, you never know when you're going to need a good length of hose, and Tamin needs it now. We did it. We have a hose. To the only working faucet in this hospital. Alright, so what do we do with it? Well, it said pay attention to the window, so let's get this hose out the window. Hose is out the window. If we need to spray some water out that window, we have done it. But before we turn the faucet on, let's take a look at where that hose might be going down. So that's the second floor bathroom. It would be immediately above the first floor bathroom. 
this one. Was there anything special about this bathroom? Well, there's the hose coming down out the window. You can see it there. And this is the bathroom where there was a key underneath the grating in the floor. And we couldn't get it. It's just too far down. But now we have a hose, and we pulled it in, into the grate. And you can probably see where this is going. It's a good thing we found that hose. It's a good thing there was one faucet that still worked. And it was a good thing that Shiro unlocked this door. All these things come together and allows us to get the key. All right, let's go get that key. We can just, you know, forget about finding Yoriko for the moment. This key is important. We need to get it. All right, key to second floor of War 2. Let's take a look. It is the key to the door that connects the second floor corridor. So we need to go up to the second floor and find a locked door that we can use to unlock, that we can use this key to unlock. And there are plenty of locked doors in the Miata Clinic. A lot of doors we have not been able to open. Here's a corridor right here, and on the other end of this corridor is a locked door. We could try this key, and it works. All right, so let's see what we find on the other side. And why do we have to find this album to begin with? What could be in the album? You can also, I forgot that you could also read these signs. I mean, you don't really need to in this case because we can actually just see what's on there. But if you want, you can get text to appear telling you what's on the signs. Alright, this is part of the hospital that Risa had gone through. She had trouble with these guys. But Tamman has a gun, and that's a lot more effective than an umbrella. So most of the doors will be locked. This one is not. But before we explore that, let's look around a little bit more. Okay, here's the door that Risa had slipped through that Timon could not. And this door is now unlocked. I didn't need to do that. Actually, I wanted to reload. Doesn't even matter if we lock the door. Those spiders can't go through doors anyway. All right. We haven't been in this room before, so let's see what we can find. We can find a pretty nice-looking record player. Though it is broken. But maybe we should just pick it up and take it with us anyway. Actually, no, it's just the needle. No, we we're not going to pick up the entire record player and shove it down our pants. That's just silly. But because we picked up the needle, we can now fulfill uh, obje Objective 2 for Tamon, Day 3, 3 o'clock. Now, why might Tamon need this needle? Cartridge-style needle taken from the broken record player in the hospital. There are so many things that you could do with one of those. And I'm sure Tamon is going to find such a thing. For right now, though, we don't need to use it. We just needed to get it from here. What we actually need to do is explore. In this room right here. Let's just close this before he gets in here. So, all right, now we're safe. You can find assorted hospital records, but none of this really means anything to us. Shiro was interested in hospital records, but Tamin not so much. But among these records, we do see one thing that stands out. This green album right here that is apparently for free. It's a dilapidated album that is for free. So let's have a look at it.
This woman? Could it be? Well, we found a photo of Hisako from an old album, and we know that this album is from 27 years ago, but she looks exactly the same. And with that, Mission 2 was accomplished. Tamin seemed to recognize Hisako. Since Tamin is from the village, then maybe he had met her in his youth. It could be. Tamin hasn't mentioned anything like that, but he did seem to recognize her at, in that photo. Speaking of Hisako... Time of revival draws near, and the beginning and the end are one. That is the eternal circle of life. And that's it for tonight's Siren Session. Not really much that we can say to explain what it was we just saw. Yusuko standing on the shore of the Crimson Ocean. Something washes up on the shore. It's kind of hard to tell what that is. She picks it up and uh, sees someone across the sea looking back at her. And that's it for tonight. We're going to save. That was actually a short mission. It's, this mission is much shorter in the second objective than it is on the first one. But next time, we're going to a, an original mission. We're going back to Kiyoya and Miyako. Remember them? Kiyoya kind of seemed like the, the main character, but we haven't really seen a whole lot of him. But we are going back to Kiyoya and Miyako as they are continuing to traipse around the village. And we're going to see what they're getting up to. So we are actually heading back to them next time. And I'll see you then.